hi guys what's up how are you doing my name is tifa if you don't know who i am and welcome to my channel i hope you guys like this video this video is about me creating this look and styling this hair basically so yeah let's jump into the video okay guys so hi again <laughs> <laughs> okay so i got this hair from hemmage bc on instagram i'm going to link them down in the description box and look i'm on their flyer yay i'm so excited about that like so this is a bob unit this is already made into a unit yes i'm just unraveling it and filling out the hair and seeing how it is i like the hair by the way yes yeah, so i'm just placing it on my doll to just see and using some tippings to like hold it down you guys can see um the it, the closure already came pre-plucked and customized so i don't really have to do anything so now i'm just spraying water on it to like make it malleable for me to style and all like just combing it back to make it easy for me to really see what i'm doing so yeah it's customized as i said before so now i'm just going to like make some make a side part basically i was thinking i was going to go with the side part but I ended up not going with the side part but that's way 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 in the video so yeah that's my side part right there so now i'm going to make two cornrows to give the hair volume when i'm trying to style it i know it doesn't seem like it's making sense right now but you guys is what i'm talking about at the end of this video okay so now i'll just have you guys know this is the first time i'm ever 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 owning a frontal wig and i am so excited it was very challenging for me to like even style this wig let me not lie it was somewhat challenging but i really think that i came true in the end so let me just know what you feel and what you think about this whole um big process in the comment section down below okay so now i'm just straightening the hair and trying to like give it that bob um look that it's supposed to have so yeah at the end i'm just trying to like bend the straightener backwards to give it that bob look just, just doing this like throughout the whole hair yeah 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 so we're almost done with that now so guys yeah i really like this hair by the way and it's like so affordable i'm not sure how much it is but i'm going to surely like find out and like insert the price on the screen or somewhere on the description box so yeah we are done straightening this hair right now and the hair is just really nice for the price it came sure so yeah i just want you guys to like see how it looks like when i'm done straightening it and all yeah so now i'm just trying to like cut off the front of the lace closure at this point this is the first time i'm ever doing this so i i was just scared to not even go beyond where i'm supposed to cut i should have done it on the mannequin so yeah time for makeup hi again guys i am always so excited this is a new day by the way so oh before makeup i'm going to lay my wig on my hair and i'm going to be using my um got to be spiking glue i prefer the spiking glue because it doesn't have to take long to dry you just don't even need a blow dryer to dry it with so i'm just going to place the wig on my head yeah and just try to like lay my closure i mean my frontal why do i keep saying closure i'm so i'm so bush i'm so used to the whole closure thing okay so now i'm just trying to lay the closure sorry frontal i'm using the comb to press it down now and like blow drying it to secure my scarf using my scarf to secure it and we're going to move to the makeup so now i've already done my brows off camera and i'm just still blending out my brows with that brush right there i'm just going to put concealer on my lid to start off with my eyeshadow look so today i'll be using my um zaron eyeshadow palette and we're going for this very beautiful sunset kind of look so yeah that's my first transition shade i'm just placing that into my lid and blending that out so i'm going to go in with that darker shade right there and like focus that in my crease like just try to pack that all in my crease like so and now i'm going to like gently blend out the um edges so that it has this gradient effect now i'm going to go ahead and cut my crease like so guys i made a mistake but i'm going to i'm going to correct that like later on but i'm not going to show how i corrected it yeah so now i'm going into that yeah that matte like powdery shade there yeah, i'm just placing that all over my lips like set my concealer then i'm going to go back into that, my first transition shade and also place that on my lid then i'm also going to go into the dark shade and also place that on my lid also just blending it out everything i've done this is a very easy look to create and it's also very very beautiful i just really, really like it so now we're done blending i'm just going to use that fluffy blush blush brush <laughs> to blend it out all together so yeah i'm using my inglot um gel liner to like just apply some wing liner for myself yeah 
okay yeah so i will do lashes off camera so now i'm going in my pons primer my face applying that to my t-zone area all this i just normally get oily you know so yeah for foundation i'm going to be using my laurel foundation um isn't a beauty blend just apply that all over my face like so yeah just blending that out blend 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 uh something about foundation as i'm going to tell you guys is you should always make sure that your foundation matches your neck because we don't want to be looking different so now using my Nibam beauty in my skin concealer i'm going to apply and blend out i did for this concealer i find that i like to apply it on one side then blend i cannot apply all over my face first then blend because i feel like it's become hard for me to blend if i do that so i apply it on one side then blend out and it has the best coverage ever so i really just like it i don't apply everything then i come and start blending back it's just hard to do so for contour i'm going to use the darker shade that's 409 sorry 049 yeah 049 and i'm just contouring with in fact these concealers are just awesome you should really consider getting yourself one yeah so just contouring with that Concerned. see how th that just gives my face some dimension and just making me look all sleek now going in my sacha buttercup i'm just pressing the powder to my under eye and everywhere i highlighted basically my bridge of my nose my forehead yeah so using my maybelline powder i'm just setting my contour like so guys okay now for reverse contour you know you want to have that sleek looking contour but you don't want the powder to stay on for so long because once it stays on for too long it's going to be hella hard to blend out so immediately you put on your powder for reverse contour you want to swipe that off immediately yeah so now to finish off my eye look i was going to i used this blue pencil but it didn't really come off on camera I don't know why. So now I'm smudging on my bottom lash line like so. And I'm, I'm, I'm just going to apply that shimmer look in my inner side brush to make the eyeshadow just pop a bit. Whew, I need to slow down. Yeah. So now I'm just applying blush on my face basically. Now I'm going in with my melanin highlighter. Hmm. I love this highlighter. Oh my god. I look so bright right now and I really like that. Yeah. I just really like it. I find that on my tip of my nose, the bridge of my nose, you know, make me glow. So using my soap pro, um, glow mist, I don't, I can't really pronounce the name. Just using that. Yeah. At this point in time, I'm just like really, 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 really feeling myself. So, okay. I forgot that I didn't put mascara on my bottom lash lines. So I'm just going to go back and do that put mascara on my bottom lash now so now let me finish off my hair i'm just going to straighten it out and like try to like style it and make it all slick by straightening it out just watch guys So now see the way the hair is standing yeah that's what exactly what i was trying to achieve by braiding it down it gives the hair some sort of volume and hip high stuff thingy i don't know what to call it so i'm not going to straighten that particular um piece backwards like give the hair um this volume and make it have this flip kind of thing if you get what i'm trying to say so um as i was doing this i don't know if i was like really liking the way it was looking but mm, i was feeling really similar about it i wasn't really sure so it's like oh let me just be done straightening it first so i'm just going to spray water on the weave to like just tame the flyaways and like just brush the water into my weave so yeah i'm just filling the hair trying to um, fit in, into the frame of my face and i'm just i realized that I wasn't for this i wasn't really feeling it so i said just turn it into um a center part sort of not completely center part almost side part center part i don't know if that makes any sense <laughs> okay so now i'm just applying my powder to make it more realistic in the middle yeah so just finishing off my makeup look with some lip gloss Yaw. and if you know me you know i'm all for lip gloss so basically this is all about this video very simple glam sweet looking good looking good looking good everything 
i don't know i just really like this look don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow me on social media and hit me up you know let's talk let's be friends comment in the comment section down below give this video a thumbs up if you do like this video and let me know i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys